the Bone Goomba fandom is dying. Make sure to share, subscribe, and like this video if you're a true boner. But I don't think any of you are. Welcome back, ancient fans. It's Bone Goomba. That's right. That's what they call this one. Um, is he is he cute? Yeah, he's cute. Oh no, no, he's not so cute anymore. These little teeth, buck teeth thing, give him that very Disney goofy vibe of uh, yuck. And he does not look cute, but he's a fun little figure to have gotten. Let me talk about his base first because I love his base more than uh, than a lot of these new ones. The season twenty one Mario. Are you here for season twenty one Mario? Because here is the dry bones. Scan that. Boom. Bing, bing, woohoo, hurry, click it now, click it now, do it, wow, cool, cool job, kiddo. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying that for that, but he's a fun character pack. The base, though, is really strong. You get two facade bricks. You get some uh, super jumper on top of there. You get, I got extra of both the one by one translucent orange uh plate round plate with hole um and the candle flame piece so i've got three of those um little sets and i think that adds a lot to the value for your castle sets because now you can just have a little piece of fire somewhere put it on a candle put it on a torch do whatever you want with it if you don't have one of these fire pieces this is the easiest way to get it probably except for you're gonna have to go fondle blind bags but it's easy and then of course you add to the the collection of masonry bricks i'm sure all of the castle builders out there already have plenty of but let's talk about the character the actual reason that lego and nintendo think you want to buy it that's right um he's covered in facading but inside of him is some really cool pieces it's the super brickhead brick it's the brickhead brick with the sides um left and right covered with studs as well and you get two of those to build up all the character pieces and you actually get two one by three to one by two plate jumper mega ultra jumper i don't know what you call that piece and then of course the character feet one of those uh jumper pieces is printed with that design two white squares for buck teeth i don't like it that much but uh what do you do right the build is really simple there was a live build of this on my um youtube live stream so if you're interested in and in, you know, seeing me build some of these kind of things live, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and turn on this notification, subscribe, do the whole dealy, and next time you could be here while I build the true boner. Couldn't you? So, here he is, though. Very good. I like the printing on here. Again, how can you mess up white printing, uh, white plate with black printing? He's got yellow eyes as well, but it's, it's, it's a nice, it's a crisp pattern. The teeth are maybe not quite as white as they could be. They could have probably used another pass-through. And overall, eh, it's fine. It's a weird little character, but uh, getting those feet pieces and turquoise, I want to make some monsters for my sword and sorcery setting, and I really like the idea of being able to use these little monster feet to just give them a good little bit of detail without adding a lot to the pieces. Uh, simple bases, you know, cool stuff. And then, of course, I could also make some bases for figures, that uh, are centered around these rounded four by four, two plate tall plates, brick. It's a brick if it's not a plate, right? Eh, I wouldn't know, but basically we're gonna call the video there, I think. If you like this one, leave a comment why you like him. He's, he's fun. Comment on all my videos, basically. Automatic video, um, subscribe is in the middle, and then the void is that another thing that hopefully you've related to or that I've just handpicked specially for you. You're welcome. You're really, you really are. Don't, <laughs> no need to thank me, random citizen.